importance of anesthesia monitoring is to understand that every patient is unique. They depend on you to deliver the ideal level of anesthesia to protect them from postoperative complications and provide a smooth, expedited recovery. Oversedation and undersedation may lead to anesthesia-related postoperative complications and may put the patient at risk for longer recovery, postoperative nausea and vomiting, post-op cognitive impairment, and postoperative delirium. BIS is a process EEG parameter that provides a direct measure of the effect of sedatives on the brain. The BIS monitoring value is represented at a number from 0 to 100 that is calculated from a raw EEG obtained by the sensor placed on a patient's forehead. The sweet spot for deep sedation of BIS range is between 40 and 60. Deep hypnotic state is less than 40. When you get into the less than 20 range, you are at burst suppression and sometimes at isoelectric EEG. Titration of anesthetic dosing for specific targeted BIS range provides you with the ability to customize a precise amount of anesthetic medication for each patient based on their own unique needs. Some of the important data points on a BIS monitor are the BIS numerical value, the BIS numerical trend, the EMG, the raw EEG, and the DSA density spectral array. Ideal procedures for using BIS are spinal surgery with total intravenous anesthesia, colorectal surgery in the context of ERS protocol with total intravenous anesthesia, and major surgery greater than one hour in elderly patients that are at risk for developing postoperative delirium while using inhaled anesthetics. BIS technology guided anesthesia reduces anesthesia use by as much as 38%, it reduces awareness with recall by 64%, as well as the incidence of postoperative complications. There is less incidence of postop delirium in elderly and at-risk patients. Personalized anesthetic dosing leads to faster wake-up times, faster recovery times, and discharge from the PACU. Process EEG, alongside routine monitoring, can play an important role in measuring a patient's level of sedation during anesthesia and can offer meaningful information needed to individualize and optimize anesthetic dose for the best possible outcome.